Hey, I'm Johannes from Clearlight Saunas and today's video is a walkthrough of the premier two-person infrared sauna that you see behind me. At Clearlight, we really focus on designing, developing and building the best infrared saunas in the world. And at the core of our being is really designing saunas that are good for your health, which is why we specifically focus on high quality materials to be used, eco-certified non-toxic woods, low EMF and ELF, which I'll explain in detail later, the heater technology, which is probably the most important thing about every infrared sauna, as well as the choice of materials. So non-toxic, ideally sustainably resourced, if feasible, at the highest possible quality source. In this video, I'll explain the different features of the Premier range, obviously based on the two-person sauna model. Um, and I'll sort of give you a tour. I'll you know, walk you through the different features. I'll walk you through the different technologies that we use. You know, I'll showcase you the wood um, to really help you understand what the Clearlight Premier Sauna is all about. We'll start off with the exterior of the Clearlight Premier Infrared Sauna range. And as you can see, it really has a sort of nice dark brownish um, color. And in fact, we use eco-certified, FSC-certified Grade A Canadian cedar wood. So it's sustainably sourced. It's only the best quality that we use. And you can see that the outdoor has like a, a really nice finish. Um, and we used a water-based varnish, 100% non-toxic. Um, and we actually sand it down and varnish it three times to really make sure that it sort of has this really nice and smooth finish. The other thing that you'll notice with this Premier Infrared Sauna is that we have a keypad on the outside as well as one on the inside. Now this is really practical for you because you know instead of having to open the door and turning it on um, from the inside, you can just walk up to it press the on button and make sure that the sauna really pre-warms uh, in a most efficient way. Um, you have a few different functions on the keypad um, that obviously starts with the timer. So, you know, the maximum time that you can set is 60 minutes and that's by design. And it's, you know, it's just really also a safety measure for you in case you turn on the sauna, you forget it or you got to pick up your kids or you're just literally forgetting it. Then after 60 minutes, the timer has run off and the sauna will turn off. So that will save you electricity, brings you ease of mind, and you, know, you can just really nicely integrate it into your day without worrying about anything. So the next setting that you can choose is really the temperature. Remember, this is an infrared sauna, so it's not really about the air temperature. We don't want to achieve 70 degrees or 80 degrees. I mean, yes, it might be a nice co, you know, a nice benefit from it because with increased air temperature, you're gonna sweat, but the main intent of the sauna is to heat your core temperature. So we don't want hot air temperatures, but instead we want the infrared heat to warm up your core you, you know, literally 360 degrees around you at all times. And that's eventually what will really cause you a healthy sweat. Um, on this keypad then you have a couple of additional light features. So, um, you know, you can set the inside light, which I'm gonna showcase to you shortly. You have the external light, um, you can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. And there are a couple of other features um, that allow you to activate um, certain upgrades, which we have separate videos about. Um, depending on you know, your requirements and the product that you would like to integrate into your Premier Sauna. Each Premier Sauna comes with a couple of different lighting features. Outside lighting, internal lighting, the reading light, as well as color light therapy to really let you play around with these settings to find your optimal sauna lighting. The next feature is the glass door and the door handle. For the glass, we use six millimeter tempered glass really high quality glass, very safe, and unless it's being dropped, it actually will last you a lifetime, which is in line with our lifetime warranty. You might have seen that the door handle looks a bit funny. It's almost like a half moon shape. And the idea is really A, for the door handle to match the nice exterior wood. It's also made out of cedar wood, has the same varnish. It also gets sanded three times. But you may also notice that the form of the door handle, you know, allows some extra space on the glass door. And the intent was really to allow you to tag your entertainment program into the sauna. So you could, for instance, place an iPad or an iPhone on the door handle, you know, if you wanna use your phone inside the sauna. The glass door is also the space where potential upgrades, which for which we have videos linked down at the bottom, can be attached to. 
Now, in this video, you know, we have the full spectrum heater upgrade pre-attached to the door to give you a bit of a sense of what this would actually look like. This spot can also be used for the red light therapy. And essentially, the glass door comes with two little holes and metal bolts pre-installed. And even if you, you know, two years later, once you've had your sauna session, want to integrate full spectrum or red light, you can just unscrew the doorknob, you attach the full spectrum heater. Here. There's a, a cable outlet on the inside of the front wall. You just plug it in and there's an activation code on the keypad that you need to press. We're now inside the Premier two-person infrared sauna and we'll start off with the wood. So the wood that we use is FSC certified, sustainably harvested, great A quality cedar wood. So it's the same wood that we use on the outside, but on the inside it's completely untreated. And the reason for that is that cedar wood has really great characteristics. It's antibacterial, it's antifungal, it really has this beautiful smell with it, quite intense at the beginning. Um, and everything on the inside of the cabin is made from untreated certified cedar wood to really enhance your sauna experience. Now, I'm sitting on the bench and the bench is 56 centimeters deep. It has two sides. One is flat if you actually enjoy sitting on a flat surface. The other one is ergonomically shaped and it's sort of, you know, you can see it here that it really follows a bit of a waveform to really make sure that it really has that ergonomic seating for you to comfortably, comfortably lean back and relax in your sauna. The same ergonomic principle has also been applied to the back heater frames. So again, these follow the form of your spine to really make sure that there's ergonomic seating with you. The left and the right heater frame don't have an ergonomic form because you know you normally sit and lean back against the heater frame. Inside the cabin where I'm sitting right now, top right of me is a beautiful lampshade. So if you sit here, it's really nice actually to read a book, maybe even turn off the light and close your eyes for a couple of moments to take a breather, to relax and really make sure that you're ready for the night or the day, depending on when you use it. As you know, we have a keypad on the external side, but as I mentioned before, there's also a keypad on the internal side of the sauna. And it's literally where I sit, right, you know, literally in front of me, there's the keypad, and I'll just use it to turn on the color light therapy. So above my head, you'll actually now see different colors. If I click again, there's a different color. And it's really convenient to sit on the sauna, obviously when you have a towel wrapped around you, you're naked, to modify the settings as you desire. Like you may want to shorten your infrared sauna session by five minutes, you might want to increase it by 10, depending on where you're at with your sauna journey. In addition to lighting, each Premier infrared sauna also comes with a speaker system. So above my head on the right, as well as on the left, are two speaker systems. You can connect to it using Bluetooth and your device of choice. It can be an iPad, it can be an iPhone or a Samsung phone as well. But there's also an auxiliary jack right on the inside underneath the keypad that allows you, if you don't want, for instance, to use Bluetooth, to connect your phone to the cable and play music, your choice of meditation or potentially even a documentary and make it sure that it plays through the speakers of the sauna. Right above my head is also a ventilation slot. So, you know, obviously over time, the infrared sauna will heat your core temperature and the air temperature inside the sauna will also increase. Say, so, you know, you might have after 20 minutes of preheating, another 30 minutes of use, the air temperature in here might be 50 to 55 degrees Celsius. This is just an example and it really depends on how long the preheating time was and where the sauna is located. But over time, it may be a bit too hot for you. You might want to have some fresh air. So you can then actually open that ventilation slot or close it depending on your needs. Another alternative, if this actually doesn't cool it quickly enough, is for you to open the door. Remember, it's not about the air temperature. It really is about the infrared heat being absorbed by your core at all times to make sure that your core temperature climbs up. And if you just really want to lose a couple of degrees of the hot air, open the door for say half a minute, 30 seconds, 40, 45 seconds, close it again, you'll actually feel straight away that the infrared heat is on your core, again making you sweat, but it's not going to be as sticky in here and you may just have really a bit of fresh oxygen inside the cabin which might feel really pleasant for you. Now one of the main features of every infrared sauna is the heater technology or the heater positioning 
And at Clearlight, and you know, it's not just applicable to the premier sauna, but that's a promise that we make for each and every of our infrared sauna. We use our own True Wave 2 patented heater technology. It's a unique combination of a carbon heater that is enhanced with ceramic compounds to make sure that the carbon wavelength, which is close to the 9.4 microns, is ideal. But we bring in the extra ceramic because it's a very heat intense material to really make sure that it's a small heater, yet incredibly powerful to raise your core temperature. And one of the main things when it comes to designing and building an infrared sauna is really to make sure that you have a really good heating arrangement. So we always refer to this as a 360 degree heat exposure. And what we mean by that is that we literally get heaters all around you. In the back, left wall, right wall, the two fronts that you can't see here right now, bottom left, bottom right, calf heater. And there's also the option for you to actually bring in a full spectrum heater, a red light in the middle of the door. So you really feel that, you know, there's literally heat all around you. And that it's something you should really pay attention to when you're looking at buying an infrared sauna. Because if there isn't a heater on either side, you may be missing out on really effectively raising your core temperature. Now, these heaters per design are low EMF. EMF means it's electromagnetic frequencies. And I like to use this metaphor of saying, you know, don't sleep on a Wi-Fi router. And I think you'd agree with me. And the same is true for infrared saunas. Electromagnetic frequencies, short for EMF, are a major concern because the World Health Organization and other health experts know that high exposure of electromagnetic frequencies can be damaging for your health. It may cause you insomnia, it may actually cause you restlessness and other factors. And particularly with infrared saunas in general, not just clear light, you have currents all around you. You sit in a small cabin, you get lots of heaters, lots of electric currents all around you, and therefore EMF is always a concern. And it's one of the main questions you should really ask every company. Now, our heaters have a front side and the back side. And on the front side, we obviously got electricity and we're running, but on the back side, we'll sort of have a different circuit that runs the opposite way to really make sure that the EMF reduces as drastically as it can. This is a patent that we hold. Um, it's one of the main achievements on why clear lights have probably the lowest EMF levels in the world. But we didn't stop there. Around five or six years ago, we introduced low ELF um, heater technology. So ELF stands for extremely low frequencies. It's a different type of frequency, a lot more complex to mitigate, but we sort of done our best and we're currently the only manufacturer in the world who really actively works on reducing ELF. We do this by having a carbon mesh on, this, on the heater. This mesh has its external grounding wire and each and every heater has its external grounding wire too to make sure that ELF really reduces as much as, much as possible. So these true wave heaters are, as I said, a unique combination of carbon and ceramic. Not only do they have a really high output and a superior wavelength with a majority around 9.4 microns. But they also are the heater in itself. It's a seventh generation. They're not any, they're not artificially modified or anything. Um, but they, you know, the, the heater in itself and a great intensity, good wavelength and quite a high emissivity to make sure that it's the right wavelength, the right intensity, and the material itself has a really good emissivity. So as I mentioned before, the heater arrangement and the heater placement is of substantial importance. And the reason is that an infrared sauna is not about hot air. In fact, you know, you really want the infrared heat to effectively raise your core temperature in the most effective and the most subtle way possible so that you have a very pleasant yet healthy and intense sauna experience. And when you see this video, you may see that the heaters only go until shoulder height. Now, this is a super important criteria because infrared heat and infrared saunas is not about hot air. So why would you build heaters above my head to effectively not raise my core temperature and not really make sure that the infrared hits my skin, but rather you would heat up the air? That's what quite a few companies do. And it's not only a waste of energy, but it also doesn't make any sense if you if you understand infrared and the fact that infrared is best absorbed 
by skin, by the human body to effectively raise the core temperature. And I even go a step further and say that heat on the head is something that you may actually not want to experience. It's not harmful, it's not dangerous, but I think we all know, in fact, at least the people that have used traditional saunas, that the heat, that heat on the head, excessive heat on the head can cause stress. It can cause dizziness, it can cause fatigue, or you might just in general feel uncomfortable. And therefore we've designed every clear light sauna in a way so that the heat is only go up to shoulder height to not heat your head. And this is not a new theory or anything. In fact, it was well known in Ayurveda, which is obviously a couple of decades, centuries, if not thousands of years old, um, where people knew that heat on the head causes stress. It's not beneficial at all, you know, because the heat mostly consists of skull, so bone mass, um, fat, which is our brain, and this heart, there's not a lot of water inside, and water really is required for the infrared to heat your core effectively. Another topic or feature that is really important to infrared saunas in general, and that we at Clearlight have thoroughly thought and implemented, is the aspect of off-gassing of materials under heat. Now, this is a sauna, which means over time, the air temperature will go up. As I said, we can have temperatures of 50, 55, 60 for some models, even 65 degrees Celsius in here. And that's a severe change of temperature towards the normal ambient conditions, probably around 20 to 25 degrees. And this is a, this is a major concern in general for our health, because if we invest into an infrared sauna and we want to use it for health, wellness, relaxation reasons, one of the things we definitely want to avoid is off-gassing of certain materials. So, you know, this might be wood that, for instance, is chemically dried. I know it sounds weird, but, you know, people do that. Like they spray wood on, they spray chemicals on the wood to suck out the excessive moisture. And therefore, all of our wood is air dried to really make sure that there's no chemicals. And in fact, each and every clear light sauna, including this Premier sauna, including the entire Premier range, undergoes a very thorough so-called VOC testing method. VOC stands for Volatile Organic Compounds, and it's an internationally accredited testing method to analyze certain materials and you know, see if and how it changes under a change of temperature, moisture, etc. And this is of major importance and therefore, you know, Every clear light sauna is a no VOC, or, you know, has no VOCs, which means there's no toxic materials that essentially outgas or under excessive heat exposure. And this is a question that you definitely do want to ask and have answered before you are seriously considering buying from a manufacturer, because it could potentially cause you more harm and be beneficial. I hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of this Clearlight Premier two-person infrared sauna. The features are the same across the different sizes of the Premier saunas. And in the, in the description field below, we'll not only have the sections of each of the features explained, but we'll also link to a few more relevant pages and information that you, might, that you may find useful in finding the right infrared sauna for you.